Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about how you can actually get started with mathematics if you're coming from another field. Maybe you are a computer scientist and you're a programmer, maybe you're an IT guy, maybe you are into biology, maybe you're a chemist. Uh, it doesn't matter what field you're coming from, maybe you are an English major and you want to learn more about math and you want to maybe jump into it. Maybe you're thinking, is math for me? So what is the best way to come into math if you're coming from another field? So there's two ways that you can do that. In this video, I'm gonna talk about both of those ways. So the first way that you can get started with mathematics if you're coming from another field, and probably the easiest way, is to actually take a course on mathematics. Um, most local colleges offer courses uh, at night. You could take it after your regular job, or, or you could even take it in the day, perhaps, if you could make some time in the day. If you're already a college student, then maybe just take an additional math class. So what class would you take to get started with math? Well, I would say take whatever class they let you take. Usually uh, colleges have restrictions on classes. Uh, there's some type of test you take, or you use your previous prereqs, and that will identify what class you can actually uh, take. Um, what's the best one to take though, that would be dependent on, and I'll be honest, take the class with the best teacher you can get. Just go on Rate My Professor, and I'm not a fan of that website because I'm on there and I, I hate being judged. No one likes being evaluated or judged. Uh, but if you go on there and you look for a professor with a really good rating, uh, take that professor, right? Take the professor with the highest uh, Rate My Professor rating and it doesn't matter what math class it is, right? As long as it's remotely interesting, the professor really makes all the difference. So again, method one, uh, take a class and take it with the best professor possible. That is really important to take a professor that you actually can understand. Uh, you don't want to be your, you don't want to have a negative experience uh, when you're trying out math. So if you take a math class for fun, the last thing you want to do is take a class that is not fun. So again, number one is taking a class at your local college. The second way to jump into math uh, is to actually get a book on proof writing. Now there's tons of books on mathematical logic and proof writing, but I'll leave a couple in the description below. But if you pick up a book on writing proofs, I think that's a really good way uh, to jump into it. You might say, well, why not like a calculus book or why not like an algebra book? Anyone at any level can really jump into a basic logic and proof type book. Uh, I've done lots of book reviews in the past and I'll leave some links to the actual books and the book reviews and you can check them out, right? And then just pick up a book. You can get these books for only a few dollars. So if you can't afford to take a college class or maybe you don't have the time to do it, you can get a book for only a few dollars. Worst case scenario, you don't read the book and you've spent eight dollars, right? So it's a good way to jump into math. Another reason that I'm suggesting a, a logic and proof book is because that's what pure mathematics is like. That's where it starts, right? You start uh, with, with logic and proof. That is the beginning of you know, the set theoretic mathematics that is studied today in today's world. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any uh, other suggestions for people who might be coming from other fields and are interested in getting started with math, uh, leave your comments below. That's it. Take care.